How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and welcome to my video game pickups for the first quarter of 2024. I don't have that much to show off and I had actually debated potentially putting this off for another few months until I got more stuff, but I think I've got enough to make a nice fun video for you guys. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, made a video when I got this. This is an Xbox Series X console. So. Yeah, I actually, like I said, I made a full video about this when I got it, and I'm so embarrassed because it, uh, it is out of focus and it looks awful, and it's my best performing video of the last six months, so that's really embarrassing, but, um, anyway, I've been meaning to get a Series X ever since it was first announced. I've, my original plan was to get one on launch day, but the pandemic happened, it became hard to get one, and then when they finally did become easier to get one, I kind of realized that there aren't that many games that are on Series X that are not on the One X, which I already have. So, um, long story short, there were a bunch of leaks that came out that Microsoft was going to get rid of the disc-based console, this one that plays disc, disc games, and, um... And uh, so I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to get one, I'd better get one now. So I went and got one and a few games to go with it, which I'll also show off. And you know what? I actually love it a lot. I'm glad that I picked it up. And um, yeah, so it's it's a great system. I love playing it. I'm sure I'll be getting quite a few more games for it. I'm even tempted when uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, I'm tempted to get it on the Xbox instead of the PlayStation 5. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I actually really love the uh, Series X. The controller is super comfortable. The games look really nice on my uh, Sony 4K OLED. And yeah, I'm glad that I picked it up. I wish that I had picked it up for cheaper than I did, but oh well. <laughs> so uh, you know what? I'll actually go ahead and show off the two games that I got for it too. So I got Starfield and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And I've been playing a lot of Avatar, like I think I've put in about 15 hours so far. Uh, you know, I say a lot. Well, I've been busy, okay? I've been really, really busy this year. Um, but the, the bit that I have played of Avatar has been a really fun game. Um, I am surprised that so few people have talked about this. This is a gorgeous game, one of the best looking games of this entire generation, in my opinion. And um, even if you don't like Avatar, I think that you'll enjoy this. It's definitely a, a Ubisoft game, so, you know, take that for what it is. But I really love this, and uh, I'm I'm glad I picked it up. I haven't played that much of Starfield. I'm sure that I'll get to it uh, when, when I'm able to. I'm just so busy, guys. I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of you realize that, you know, I'm in charge of uh, Pokemon Abridged, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Those episodes take about 40 hours to publish, and... Um, I publish them every two weeks, so that's like a full work day for me to uh, to work on those every single day. I don't have much time for anything else. Anyway, so the uh, only big new game that came out that I got was uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and uh, a lot of my free time has been spent playing this game. I put in about 60 hours so far into this. I rolled credits, I did get to see the end of the game, and I'm going to have to take a lot of time to process this. I, I probably finished this uh, I, earlier this month, earlier in March, so it's been a few weeks, but I'm still processing the game, and um, I'm not sure what my full thoughts are on it, but right off the bat, this might potentially become my favorite video game of all time. Uh, Pokemon Silver has been my favorite video game of all time since the year 2000 when it first came out. So the fact that this might pass that probably, um, possibly, is uh, a good a testament to how great of a game this is. This is a prime example of what a video game should be. And I am looking forward to grinding out the Platinum Trophy for this when I have the time. I uh, started New Game Plus, I finished Chapter 1 on Hard Mode, I've got a whole lot of other trophies that I'm going to be working on first, but I, I really loved Rebirth. I think it's safe to say that uh, as long as uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3 is as good as Remake and Rebirth were, then the trilogy might potentially become my favorite video game of all time. Um, Rebirth on its own 
is really high up there. This might be in my top three favorites with Breath of the Wild and Pokemon Silver. So, yeah, uh, in my opinion, Rebirth is Game of the Year 2024. Nothing else could possibly pass it in terms of how good of a game it is. So, yeah, um, I, I loved it. Uh, it is going to stick with me for a very long time. Um, I'm very glad that I got it and that I played it and that I remain spoiler free all the way to the end. Oh uh, man, just, man, such a good game. Um, anyway, so I ended up picking up a um, PC Engine game. So this is um, a game called uh, World Stadium. I forget exactly, I think it's Pio Pio, maybe something like that, Puko Puko. It's it's called World Stadium. It's, it's a baseball game. And um, let's see, let's open it up. So, well, the sleeve that it's in is old and mushy, but um, but yeah, that's what a PC Engine game looks like. Uh, it's, you know, TurboGrafx-16 over here in the West. Um, but yeah, so I uh, ended up getting one. This was the cheapest PC Engine game I could find on eBay. It cost me all of five bucks plus shipping and taxes, so less than ten bucks total. Um, <clears throat> so basically, I got this very shortly after I got my Analog Duo, which is over there now. Um, just to test and make sure that the um, the cartridge slot works, because I made a whole video about, well, two videos about this. The um, Duo cannot play the standard Turbo EverDrive. I had an EverDrive, it doesn't play it. So I had to get another game, any game, just to make sure the cartridge port worked, and it does. And of course, right after I got this, well, not right after, it took maybe another month, um, there was finally a jailbreak released for the Analog Duo, and now I can play whatever game I want without needing a cartridge or an EverDrive or anything. I just need an SD card, so... Um, I, I wouldn't call this a waste of money, though, because uh, I actually did not own a single PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 game before I got this, and now I could say I own one. And um, you know what? This is actually a super fun baseball game, too. I've had a lot of fun playing that. So, yeah, uh, I don't consider it a waste of money at all. For less than 10 bucks for a game that I've already put a, an hour or two into, I would call that pretty good. So... Yeah, my very first ever PC Engine slash TurboGrafx-16 game. I'm super, super, uh, that, that was, that was worth the money. Um, so let me go ahead and show off some limited print stuff. My only game from East Asia Soft this, this quarter, so far, um, was Double D Collection. <laughs> so, I have not played this, I do not know what this is, but I, I can probably take a guess. <laughs> uh, there, there's a whole lot of uh, physical games from EAS that are coming out in the next month or two, so my next pickups video should have a nice little pile. I continue to own a complete EAS Switch collection. This was released number 38, so very, very happy about that. Um, also, I got a release from Limited Run Games this quarter, so we got this visual novel called Heart of the Woods. I don't know anything about it. Um, but I have a friend who lives up in Canada who is a visual novel aficionado. I love visual novels. It's one of my favorite genres of video games. And they highly recommended that I pick this up. So I did, and not only did I get it, I got a uh, extra edition from LRG that contains the soundtrack. I love soundtracks for video games, for movies. For Soundtracks are my favorite genre of music. So... Um, I decided to spend a few extra bucks and get the soundtrack for it. Uh, again, I don't actually know anything about the game, but I love visual novels. Visual novels usually have a pretty good soundtrack. They have to, because that's usually the only thing that you get to hear is the music. So yeah, thank you to um, Adora Bear up in Canada for recommending that I buy this, and I'm, I'm just glad it finally reached me. I think I pre-ordered this like last April or May. Limited Run Games is really slow, as we all know. All right, I'm stupid, and I completely forgot to mention a few new amiibo also came out. Sora and two from Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Noah and Mio. I keep all my games right here on this little perch, and uh, or, or for, for my game pickups anyway, and somehow I uh, forgot to bring these over, so yay. Three new amiibo to add my collection, and every single amiibo ever released I now have, and that's it, amiibo are over. That's all I needed to add.
Um, we're at the end of the video, and the only things left to show off are my graded video games from WADA. I already made a whole video about this. I believe it was actually last week's video, come to think of it. Anyway, I submitted a few games to WADA for grading to add to my graded games collection. Um, I need to make it clear, every single one of these I'm keeping. I do not resell my graded games. I do not sit on them to sell at a profit later. I'm not a speculator. I'm just a collector. And I have found that I have a very fun... Uh, well, a, a fondness for um, sealed video games. And if I'm going to keep them sealed, then I may as well grade them to protect them. So, my latest games from WADA include Age of Calamity. And uh, some of these games I've been sitting on for, for months. I'm pretty sure I bought Age of Calamity and uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm pretty sure I bought these back in like last September or October. It's been a while. Uh, anyway, both of these got a 9.8A+, which I'm happy about. I really wish Tears had gotten the A++, but oh well. Um, got Breath of the Wild back there. So um, what I'm going to do for the next few weeks is uh, just put these beside Breath of the Wild and have the whole trilogy on display. Graded games are nice because it's a really easy way to display some of your favorite games. You know, these are unopened copies of these games that will never be opened, at least not by me. So it's really cool to be able to put them on display and show them off. I also got the world's very first graded copy of Skylanders, um, 9.0A+, lower grade but higher seal than I was expecting, so um, I'm just I'm just glad I got bragging rights that I was the very first person to ever grade a Skylanders game at all. There was not a single Skylanders of any game on any console that was graded before this one. I was the very first. And lastly, I was talking about Rebirth earlier. I got a uh, sealed copy, a second sealed copy on release day. Shipped it to WADA, got it graded. 9.8A, I was disappointed in it, but um, af after looking it over quite a bit, there is this corner up here on, uh, on the back that has a tear in it. That was not there when I shipped it. I know that for a fact, so it either happened in the mail or it's possible that WADA did this themselves, although I doubt it. I'm, I'm sure it just happened in the mail. That happens. That's the risk you run with shipping stuff, any like anything. You ship anything in the mail, and there's always the risk that something happens to it, right? So, regardless, 9.8A is the correct grade. I'm disappointed, but it is what it is. If, if it really bugs me, I could always just buy a better one, but... I don't think it will. My copy of Intergrade is 9.8A. This will match right beside it. And it's just more important for me to know that this was a copy that I bought on release day and shipped to them. And uh, it's mine. It's it's more important for me to just know that these are my games and not what the grade is. I would have liked to hire one, obviously. Who who wouldn't? But it's not a deal breaker. I'm, I'm not collecting the number. I'm collecting the game. And... Uh, that's it. <laughs> That's my video. So I hope everyone enjoyed. Let me know what games you picked up recently. So um, obviously my favorite thing that I picked up is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh man, game of the year. It's This is going to be game of the year. There, there, nothing else could possibly surpass this. This is just such a perfect game. And I'm glad I got my Xbox finally. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.